Hello again, my name is Jeff Tehan. I'm a quality engineer for the Red Hat CloudForms product. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure the Azure Active Directory to add an application that will allow you to connect as a provider the Azure um, instance. I'll show you how to create the app, how to obtain the tenant ID, the client ID, and the client key, and then show you how to implement those within cloud forms itself. So thank you very much. I hope you find this demonstration useful. Okay, so let's just hop right into creating this. We're going to add a new Azure cloud provider. Um, the name is whatever you want. The region, I'm in California, so I use the West US. All right, so we're going to select that. Now, the three items we need to get are the tenant ID, the client ID, and the client key. Those are all created within the Azure Active Directory module. So I'm already logged into the new resource manager portal, although it does do um, the service manager mode as well. And the Active Directory icon, which I just clicked there, that also runs in the old classic or service manager mode. The first item we want to get is the tenant ID. Now this doesn't actually exist in a field. What you have to do is you have to select a default directory and then up in the menu bar right after directory this is going to be the tenant ID. So copy this value down into a notepad or um, on a piece of paper. That's the only place you're going to find your tenant ID. Um, from default directory go ahead and click on the applications choice and then select Add at the bottom. Uh, we're going to add an application that our organization is developing. I'm not going to keep this one, so don't worry about copying these numbers down. We'll just call this CFME Demo. Um, we are using a web app because we do use the REST API to communicate. Now, these URLs, these are kind of goofy. You have to have something here, but it doesn't really matter what it says. So you need a domain for the sign-on URL, and then you need um, a URI, which is basically the domain minus the .com part. So make sure you don't add the .com or it'll kick it back. This is going to create our app. Um, it generally adds the first user by default, but you can select any user and add them into it. Now we want to configure the application. Um, it's pretty straightforward here. Um, just follow along with what I'm showing you. Um, here's the client ID, so that's the second value we need. Um, that value is static there. The client keys we have to generate. Now, be very careful here because once you save this, it's going to show you the key. And if you don't write that value down, you won't be able to get it back. So I'm going to save this. Take just a second here. And when we come back, there's your key. You have to copy it down before you leave this page. Now you can always just delete the key and generate a new one, but then you'll have to reconfigure the cloud forms as well. So there's your tenant ID, your client ID, and your key. And finally, we want to click on the uh, Add Application uh, button at the bottom. Uh, we do need to give permission to the service manager to use this app. So the bottom one is there. You click the plus, check it, and then you need to actually delegate the permission. So drop that down, check the box, and click save. And that's all we need to do in Active Directory. The rest is done back in the original portal. So I'm going to navigate back to the portal. Um, this is the new portal.azure.com and um, I'm going to show you how to add the role without actually having to use PowerShell. So what you want to do is you want to select your resource group. Um, all my stuff is based on CFME QE. Uh, the rest of those are minor. So you select the resource group and then there's a little access button. It's not 100% uh, clear until you uh, see it for the first time. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new user role. 
you want to select contributor and then you want to search for the application you created. It's not actually a user. It's going to be the CFME demo app that we created on the uh, Active Directory screen. And that's it. Now we have read and write access to this resource group uh, from our outside app, in this case, CloudForms. Um, so that's for the resource group. You can also perform the exact same steps on a subscription. So what we're going to do is select my subscription here, click the access button again, and we're going to add a user. And that user is still a contributor. And we're going to search for the same Active Directory app, CFME Demo. So now we have that role and user assigned globally. So any resource groups we create on the fly, they're going to automatically be um, configured to work with CloudForms. The last thing we need to do is go paste all these values into CloudForms. I'm going to set it up here. Here's the values. And I'll just verify that it actually connects OK. And voila, that's all you need to do to set up the app for CloudForms.